Hello, this is Kimi from Ideas to Cycles. In this video, we will talk about carbon fiber frame manufacturing and how 3D printing can help in that. This video will be of interest to anyone looking to build their own carbon fiber frame or somebody looking for how to leverage composite manufacturing with the help of 3D printing. In this video, I will show you how we got from making frames like this to making frames like this. Over here you see a frame that is made from carbon fiber tubes and the joints are made by wrapping carbon fiber tape around the joints. We don't use carbon fiber toe because if you think about the center plane and the loads passing through the center plane of the bicycle, if you're using carbon fiber toe, the fibers are at the center plane perpendicular to your load direction and that's not how composite materials work. So we use a 090 tape and we wrap the joints uh, by wetting the tape in epoxy. And for curing, we wrap the joint in peel ply tape and that way we achieve compression. Um, excess resin is bled out and we get a nice compact laminate as a result. And the peel ply tape is easy to remove afterwards. With this frame, we used large diameter tubes all around in the front triangle. Uh, they are 50 millimeters in diameter. Our simulation results show that the down tube is the most important one for torsional and lateral stiffness. But actually, this prototype proves that the C tube and the top tube are important as well. And having a 50 millimeter tube in all of the main frame uh, tubes makes this frame really, really stiff. I raced this frame uh, at a crit race and I gotta say that the power transfer to the road was quite good but the frame is very very stiff so it's not that comfortable for longer races. The whole frame here weighs only 1.5 kilograms and you gotta keep in mind that there's the seat post and seat included in that weight. Building the bicycle frame by wrapping carbon fiber around the joints is a very fast and easy way to build a bicycle frame and actually the quality of the laminate is quite good. We wanted to achieve a more aesthetic look for the joints. So for the next frame, we used a 3D printed shell that we placed on top of the joint during curing. So we used that shape to compress the laminate and we left those shells in place afterwards as a cosmetic uh, shape. But actually the problem with that method is that when you're closing the shell um, you don't really see the end results, there's no way to do quality control really. Um, the compression remains unknown, so it's, it's a risky way of manufacturing a frame. I did race this frame in a crit race, but it was not very stiff and there were some creaking sounds. So. I don't think that was a successful joining process. A better way, in my opinion, of making carbon fiber tube to tube bonded frames is having lugs. So over here you see a carbon fiber frame that has been bonded using carbon fiber lugs that we made. And when you make lugs, there's a lot of post-processing of the molds, and there's post-processing of the lugs, and a lot of work involved before you actually get to bond the frame itself. But this also means that you have better control of the quality of the product you're making. Um, you can control the bonding process. You can use structural adhesives. Over here we have some of the 3D printed tools that we use. Um, so we use a spray filler and sand the surface smooth. This is 3D printed from a flexible material, so it has thin flexible walls allowing the vacuum bag to compress the laminate but still avoiding the wrinkles that a vacuum bag alone would result in. We've done some uh, split sections here so we can check that we have sufficient adhesive all around our joints and we can also check the laminate quality for porosity and microstructure. In this video, we have shown a couple of different ways to make a carbon fiber frame and how additive manufacturing can be used to help. Um, the lesson learned is that you do need knowledge and you do need skills 
but you don't necessarily need expensive equipment to produce composite components to make a product like this. Thank you for watching.